What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Patrick Severin. I'm going to start the video off a little bit different today. Um, I got something to tell you guys about update on my injury or I never told you guys about my injury so we're going to talk about my injury in the next clip. Alright? Alright guys, so what's up? Um, yeah, I got an injury last week, um, Wednesday. I was doing chest. And um, I was doing flat bench chest. And while I was doing flat bench chest, um, I did not warm up properly. And I always preach about warming up properly. I don't care how young you are and you think that you're going to be able to just jump up and do weight. Especially when it's cold. Um, just take preventative met methods and and just warm up properly and I did it I was feeling myself that day um, my elbows weren't hurting me my shoulders wasn't hurting me I was feeling really strong I ate well so um, I was feeling really really good and I kind of jumped up from 135 to 225 and went straight up to 315 right after and on my six rep um, benching on my six rep benching, I literally felt like this ripple through the back of my shoulder, like my red deltoid area of my shoulder. It just felt like a ripple. I was surprised I was able to rack the 315. And when I got up, it was not really hurting as much as it was, but it was kind of like an uncomfortable feeling. So I went back down to 135. I was still was able to bench with you know very little pain and so I continued my workout went back up to 315 only got like four reps out of it moved on to incline and that's when it really started hurting me like when I started put my arm above my head um, so I kind of finished off my my um, incline bench by doing like really lightweight and then I left the gym next day called up the orthopedics and try to um, orthopedics and try to get an appointment and I've gone to them before because in a car accident I tore my um, PCL in my knee and I've gone to them before so I thought I could get like an appointment right away but I guess not so now I'm on my way there it's about 1237 I got an appointment at 1240 but um, I don't think I can take the camera in there with me, but I'll try. If not, then I'll let you guys know what um, was discussed and what I have to do. All right. Hopefully, I'm not injured and stayed, and I have to stay out the gym for too long because I've been making hell of a great progress this this um this year, and I want to continue going strong. So, all right. See you guys in the next clip. Peace. What's happening, YouTube? Um, I just got out of the doctor's office, just got my shoulder x-rayed, there's nothing wrong, nothing torn, um, basically um, I just have to probably take like two leaves in the morning and two leaves at night before I go to bed, which is great news. Um, you know, um, he said I have to back off on the weight for a little bit and try to build back up again. Um, but um, I just literally walked out. That was it. Nothing torn, no rotator cuff injury. Just, um, you know, probably a strain on the, um, the red deltoids area. So I'm very, very happy. So I will be hitting the gym again. I will start off light and probably just do a high rep range. A lot of volume, but high rep volume. And... Um, I'm just happy I just didn't tear or hurt my rotator cuff or anything like that. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the results. And to keep it real with you guys, I'll show you guys. I literally just walked out of the doctor's office. Like, look at this. So now I'm going back to work. Um, I went on my lunch break and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right. Peace. So what's up guys, so I'm here back at work, it's about 4.30 now so it's really winding down so I don't think I got a chance to really explain to you guys how the doctor appointment went to went and how I got injured in the first place. So I was doing flat bench, um, I did not warm up properly, I went from 120, 135 to 225 to 315 last week Wednesday and on my 6th rep on the 315 
when I was coming back up, I just felt this like really like uncomfortable ripple through the back of my deltoids. Um, I was surprised that I was able to rack the weight and when I racked the weight, it did not hurt right away. It felt uncomfortable, but it did not hurt. Um, so I dropped the weight down back to 135 pounds. I tried a bench. Um, I didn't feel any pain. I was able to do it. Um, it's only when I got to the incline on bench is when just putting my arm over my head really, really hurt. So then I stopped. Um, I, the next day, I'm trying to make a doctor's appointment for the next day, but um, I couldn't come in, so I had to go today. Um, today is Monday, the 4th of December. And when I went in, I learned a lot of interesting things. So when I first went in, I explained to them what happened. Um, they looked at my shoulder. They actually took x-rays of my sh shoulder. Everything came back normal. And the thing he did was to check for rotator cuff problems. Now, the only thing he was really worried about this is my rotator cuff, if there was an injury to my rotator cuff. So he kept on asking me, do I feel pain to the front of my deltoids? I was like, no, everything is in the back. One of the great things that he did was he showed me some exercises that I can tell if there's some type of injury to my rotator cuff. So first of all, what he had me do is to just raise my hand above my head. You won't be able to put your hand really above your head without being in intense pain or at all. So me being able to put my hand above my, my hands above my head shows that, okay, I'm fine so far. Then he had me put my arms out straight like this turn my thumbs down words and then he had me he put his hand on top of my hand and, and told me to push up so to see the strength if I, I were able to actually resist him pushing down my arms no pain that was fine he also had me put my arms against my side like this and then he had his hand on the outside of my hands and I had to push his hands out and it was not a problem for me to do. The only time I did something where I put my arms across my body and hugged myself is the only time where I felt some pain in the back of my deltoids, but nothing in the front and nothing in the pec area. So that was a good sign also. Also, he made me put my hands behind my back and push his hands back. And um, he made me do it on both sides. And again, there was not, not no real pain. And so he told me that that was normal and uh, he told me that my x-rays were normal and because I wasn't feeling that type of pain then I was good. The most interesting thing about all of that is that a lot of us when we bench in we criticize people who don't come all the way down and touch their chest and he was telling me not to do that because that's when you injure the muscles behind your shoulder. So he was telling me to cut down on how much heavy weight I'm lifting right now, go lighter and don't come all the way down. He literally told me to stop like midway. But um, this is what the doctor told me. So I'm going to just start to go on a lighter weight, do more volume, and just take his advice and just come like maybe two or three inches off of the chest. I won't come all the way down and touch the chest. So this is my advice to you guys. Warm up as, as much as possible. If you feel like you have an injury, if it's not a tightness injury, if it's not a workout soreness, if it's an injury injury, know the difference. Go check the doctor. If you have insurance, go use your insurance, check the doctor because I was really, really worried. And it was a sign of relief to say the least to hear that I don't have a major injury or I didn't tear or tear my rotator cuff. So basically he told me to take two of these in the morning, two at night, and um, lift lighter. And then as I get better and I feel better, then I could go back up in my weight. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it was educational for you because it was for me. And um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share. And please comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up.